Now, by far, the app that appears to have created the category on Android is an app called Tasker. It's the one I started out with many moons ago. Tasker's always been seen as one of the most fully featured apps in the automation category, while still being incredibly complicated to program. Even after a few user interface redesigns, the app just kind of feels convoluted and oftentimes completely unintuitive in its approach to programming complex scenarios. And you might decide not to use it if it weren't so damn powerful. So let's uh, set out to create a profile that will turn on the speakerphone when you set the device face down on a table during a call. So first, I'm going to create a task, and I'm going to call that speakerphone. I then create an action category. Essentially, this means what do I want it to do? Find audio from the menu, and then find speakerphone in that list. If that menu of options was scary to look at, then Tasker is definitely not for you. But moving onward, make sure to toggle set to on, what we've done basically is we've told Tasker that this task will activate speakerphone when called upon to do so. Now, we'll go back up here, which is kind of confusing, but after fumbling around, you'll get there eventually and we'll go back. And now to the profiles section. Profiles are the conditions that are met in order to fire off that task we just created. I'll go ahead and create the first context here by setting state, as in system state, and then selecting sensor. And then we'll select orientation. I'll set that orientation setting to face down, meaning if the phone is facing down, this context is met. And then I'll select the task that I just made called speakerphone. Now, in order to ensure that this doesn't run at any time and only happens during a call, which is what we want, I'll create a second context within that profile. And this basically detects if a call is currently happening. I'll tap back out. A few jumbled block of action should perform what I want here. And OK. If I sound a bit haggard, it's because I don't actually enjoy using Tasker, though I completely love how geeky you can get while using it if you have the time to invest. And people swear by Tasker because of that power. But the learning curve here is steep with this one, primarily because the UI is so confusing and kind of broken in my opinion. Thankfully, plenty of people way smarter and more patient than me have posted their Tasker creations for the world to install on their own devices at places like tasker.wiki.com. Dot com. Look, people are using Tasker to literally automate their house. That's the power of this app. Not to mention, plenty of developers have spent their time developing plugins for Tasker that extend its capabilities even further. Find Tasker for $2.99 in the Play Store now and give yourself an afternoon before you judge.